I got an email from somebody who wanted to remain anonymous for a recipe called Flamingo Cake. How can I not make this, right? Let's talk ingredients. You need white cake mix, some cherry jello, vegetable oil, buttermilk, three large eggs, some vanilla extract, a can of crushed pineapple, vanilla pudding mix, some whipped topping, and maraschino cherries. The first thing to do is set the oven to 350 degrees and lightly grease our baking. It says to use a 9 by 3 baking pan, which this is the equivalent of. If you just want to use a traditional pan, feel free. But I thought, what could be more fun than a flamingo cake shaped as a flamingo? I've got a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to put that in to this mixing bowl. And this stuff you want to be careful with because it's expensive. Okay, I've got a teaspoon of vanilla. I've got three eggs. We've got our pack of cherry jello mix. I've got three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. And one box of white cake mix. Work this all together. That is a pretty, pretty color. I don't know how well the camera can see that color, but that is truly pink flamingo. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I think I might uh, do something I haven't done since a kid and taste this right off the bat. Okay, so all you gotta do now is put that into that. Now, it may be more than this can hold, and if so, I've got some other little containers, but I thought it'd be fun to have a flamingo. Uh, we're going to put it into the flamingo. We're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, so the cake is baking, and while it's baking, we're going to make the topping. Now, the topping sounds ridiculously easy. All we're going to do is use some Cool Whip, or whip topping in this case, Kroger brand, uh, that's thawed out with some pineapple, two juices of these cherries, and some vanilla pudding. What we're going to do is drop the pudding into the mixing bowl here. Okay. And then we're going to add the pineapple to that with the juice. And. Uh, Apparently, dump in the cool, the, uh, I almost said that word, the whipped topping. Just a whole container here. I don't know that I'm actually going to put this on the cake so much as I'll serve it on the side, but we'll see. And it says to put the cherries in and then add the juice separately, so. I tried to do this so that I wouldn't, uh, I, I pitted all these cherries, and I really don't want to make a giant mess. So we'll get a spoon. We're just going to fold all that together. And then... Alright, well that's all there is to it. Like I said, I don't know that I'm actually going to put it on the cake. Uh, I'll figure it out when I look at it, but it's going to depend on how the cake looks when it comes out of the pan. Okay, so the cake is done, and uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I had to trim the sides a little bit, nothing major. I think I probably will frost it just because it 
since you've got some small areas and thick areas, there's a little brownie. Okay, so there it is. You can see it came out of the mold pretty nice. There's a couple of little broken spots, nothing major. I could fix those with a little sugar water, actually. But because there's more browning in this area and this area, because this took longer to finish, I think I probably will go ahead and ice it. Uh, I think it'll look nice. But I think what I'm going to do instead is just use uh, like a vanilla icing with a little bit of red food color to give it that pink look. Okay, so when it's all said and done, I decided to kind of give it my own little personal flair. So I used, and I'm going to show you, I made a little pink icing. I just took some vanilla icing here and added a couple of drops of red food color. And then I took the, uh, the topping that I made and here is the end result. Let's pick that up so there's not quite as much glare. And you can see there's my pink flamingo with a little stuff around it. And uh, hopefully my folks will enjoy it tomorrow.